question 10 always seems a bit too straightforward to be a maths question, but it is, it appears all the time. So I'm going to say to the examiner, I'm going to call bananas B, I'm going to call apples A, pears P, and oranges O. And I'm going to write down all the different combinations. And a lot of people get this wrong because they write twice as many outcomes that are possible. So if I start with bananas, I can have a banana with an apple. And then I can have a banana with a pear. And I can also have a banana with an orange. Now some people now go and write an apple and banana, but you've got the same pieces of fruit. So don't mix them up. Don't write twice as many. So with banana, I can either have an apple, a pear, or an orange. And I can't have banana banana because it says two different types of fruit. So then if I go to apple, I'm not going to have it with banana because I've already got that. So I've got apple and pear, and I've got apple and orange. Now if I go with pear, I'm not going to have pear and banana, already got that. Pear and apple, already got that. So it's pear and orange. And that's it done. There are only six different combinations. And I think you'll agree that setting up like that actually makes it quite easy.